on this episode of Pimp My Gun, we'll be using the mag of holding on the Jack Scimitar kit for the FJX Horus, which gives it a longer range, better recoil control, and a drum mag. Let's go test it out. Before we can test it out, we gotta unlock it first. And luckily for us, all my complaining last week actually worked because last week I was saying zombies players were being discriminated against because all the challenges seemed pretty absurd. But this time around, we got it pretty easy. We just need to get 100 kills with the completionist camo on one of our weapons. So I came in here with our golden enigma on our FJX and our car 98. We also need 300 kills while moving with a recommended weapon. We need 100 kills while in tax stance with a marksman rifle. We need 100 kills while having five attachments on a marksman rifle and we need to get 15 merc kills with a throwing knife and just to make things a little bit easier later on i brought in an aether blade but a normal throwing knife should still work i'm just going a little above and beyond it's so crazy how they flip flop on the difficulty of these challenges but honestly i'm all for it i would love to just hop into a game get this thing unlocked in no time that way i can go in and test it out see if the new aftermarket part's any good. But I think just for my own sanity, I'll be trying to get the car 98 done first because we all know how terrible this thing is. But I wonder if our FJX aftermarket part's gonna be similar to the one that we just got for the cast off because that one el completely eliminated recoil. This one just lessens recoil and then adds some damage range to it as well as that drum mag so i wonder if it's gonna have more ammo and how bad the recoil is actually gonna be because with our FJX build right now this is what our recoil's looking like is what I would say if our game wasn't frozen. Hello? You gotta be kidding me. I just had to open my big fat mouth, didn't I? Had to say, oh, you know, this is gonna be easy. We're gonna get this done quick. I'm just gonna get the car out of the way. And now the car is the only weapon we can use because I'm not gonna risk trying to spin the box to get a marksman rifle that's recommended that also has five attachments on it. I guess we could have done all of this with just one weapon. I'm not really a thinking man, am I? I just had to bring in that Aether Blade. I feel like that was the nail in the coffin. I'm like, yeah, let's bring this in. It'll be done a lot faster. Nope. We got our 100 kills with the completionist camo. There's our 100 kills with marksman rifle. 100 attack stance kills. No way we crashed again. This is ridiculous. I just need like, what, 12 more kills with a recommended weapon? Twice. Twice in 30 minutes. Give me a break. I guess third time's the charm. Right, guys? Right? Please? I got lucky that I had a recommended weapon in my contraband stash. There we go. Now that the moving kills with the recommended weapon are finally done, we can throwing knife these mercs if they stay still. Oh, I lost both of my throwing knives already. This is awful. Where'd you guys put them? Thank you. Found them. Missed it again. Hold on. Awesome. I'm actually just throwing. And not of the knife variety. Oof. That's a whole camp. But we need three more. Where's all the mercs in the stronghold? The only one? Oh, one with a shield, I guess. Why don't you guys come downstairs? Actually, I don't even need you guys to do that. I'll just wait for these guys. That should be all of them. Yep, there we go. All done. Now I just need to uh, get enough kills or points so I can get an insured weapon slot back. All right, like I tried to show before our game rudely crashed on us. This is our recall on our FJX right now. Nice little line right there. And this is it with our new aftermarket part. Um, it definitely controlled it way better at the beginning of the spray, but I think with the more ammo, eventually it's just going to go up, but can be easily fixed by simply holding down. The recoil is really not hard to control on this at all. All right, now that we finally got it unlocked, we can go ahead and test it out in that thing long, ain't it? And against some tier one zombies, they go down pretty fast, it looks like. Basically a one tap or maybe like a few tap, but it is fully automatic, so it don't matter too much. And let's see the range on this. Can I be accurate from all the way over here? Well, maybe somebody could, but not me. Mm -hmm. What about against some tier two zombies? He's an unarmored one. Mm, took him out pretty fast and even broke the armor in basically one tap there. Okay. The FJX is already one of the better weapons in this game. I'm hoping this aftermarket part kind of just puts it over the top. Because it seems like a lot of weapons, especially as of late, kind of struggle with armor. So if this can take it out, like unpack punched, unupgraded, that'd be pretty nice. Now let's go ahead and throw a decoy over here. Test it out against a fully armored tier three zombie. And it struggled a little bit against his armor, but it does have way more health. So that is expected. Where's the guy we were just shooting at? This one right here. Can we take any of them out? 
What about any unarmored? Nope. Okay, I'm running for my life. Uh, let's go ahead and pack a punch this. Get this to legendary. And now how are we doing? Pretty well, it looks like. Actually, kind of seems like it's killing them a bit slow. I'm sure some dead shot will help us out with our, our crit damage here. But I don't know if this is better than the normal FJX right now. We're just gonna have to mess around with it for a bit. But let's get a quick baseline for the damage. How's this doing against a tier two bounty? All right, Disciple, you're a lucky test subject. How's this doing against you? Broke his mask immediately and melted him. All right, maybe I, I had this thing all wrong. Maybe it is better because that was pretty fast. You know what? Since it just did so well against that Disciple, let's go try to fight the Stormcaller before somebody else gets to him first because we're only five minutes into this game and it's still a toss up whether or not he'd still be alive. Storm Stormcaller, are you here, buddy? Did somebody already kill you? Nope, he's right here. What's up, pal? Let's get right above him. Get that mask broken. Ooh, it's actually doing some pretty nice damage. And the only perk we have right now is Deadshot. I mean, we have Tombstone, but that's not helping us damage-wise. Zombies, stay back. This is between me and your father. We got him to half health. Get a quick little reload on him. Reload on this, it seems. Yeah, a little slow, I'm not going to lie. But at least I can hold 120 bullets while pack-a-punched. I think prior to this, I'll, I'll have to go back and look at the, the footage from when we were using our FJX before we crashed. I think it was like 80 bullets in the mag, maybe? So definitely an upgrade there. And if we can stop him from healing right here, hit an Aether Shroud, we should be able to kill him. Uh, right after we reload. Right about here. Bye, buddy. I feel bad for the Stormcaller. It just gets ruthlessly killed every single time we hop into a game. Well, every time we get our hands on them. What is the max amount of ammo we have on this? 120 bullets in the mag in 900 reserve. So we're getting over a thousand bullets with this. That's a really good amount. So I think it's safe to say ammo is not going to become an issue with this thing. But really quick, here is our reload without speed cola. Not terribly slow. Honestly, faster than the car 98 or even the superior 46 it looks like i don't know why i threw the car 98 in there but i'm still mad about how awful that gun is but now let's grab some speed call as well as all of our other perks and now this is our reload a bit faster and we got a decent amount of zombies here as well as two elites can we handle them can we take them out the mimics eating these bullets there we go the rest of the zombies Ooh, ooh, hit me back pretty hard if we keep it like head level they go down pretty fast same with you disciple and don't worry i didn't forget about you mangler honestly it seems better if we stay at a distance like some smgs you know you want to stay up close and personal with them but i think it's actually way better at range which might be a little tough to do in tier three but something to keep in mind but now that we've seen the reload speeds on it let's go ahead and throw our maga holding on and now we start the hunt for either a contract or a mega abomination that could be somewhere here in tier three is there like any contracts in tier three i'm pretty sure this cargo contracts glitch but this guy's just sitting on it just in case it works somehow but there's literally nothing we've resorted to sitting and camping at contract spawns just hoping one spawns here before it shows up on the map so i can get it before all these vultures i hear an abomination stomping around though i guess we can kill you to pass the time what's going on buddy lovely day here in the aether isn't it i guess this is the overworld whatever you know what i mean took his face out pretty fast why don't you uh shoot another laser or yell that works too Ooh! drained his health and took a face out before you can even shoot another laser how you like that buddy oh i think he's uh confused he just stopped moving we might have concussed him by breaking his face that fast that's all right it'll all be over soon you should be dying right here. Right about here. Right, right here. Almost there. Just a few more shots, please. Because a bounty just spawned that I've been looking for. And you are... Almost dead. Open up, please. I'm getting this contract before this guy gets it. I'm sorry, pal, but this ain't for you. Yeah. Move it or lose it. Now you're dead. There we go. Had to do a little bit of finessing there, but we got him down and we got a mangler to go try to take out. What's up, mangler? Broke his helmet pretty fast. Stop him from shooting the laser. Beautiful. A little decoy there. Get the zombies out of my face. And he seems to be uh, taking these shots a bit better than our abomination did. Oh, wait. Nope. I might be onto something with this distance thing. 
I feel like we're doing way more the further back we get. And he's gone. Oh, and we got a rift. Just what we're looking for. I'm still going to stick around here in tier three, at least for a little bit. See if we can't get an HVT abomination. But uh, if it's looking like we can't get our hands on a contract like that, we might just have to go back to tier two and do some bounties there. Can I get this contract? Woohoo! Snagged it from him. And on top of that, I get to fight the abomination in my favorite spot again for the first time in a long time. I'm just doing this for me. Oh, I love this spot so much. Them constantly having to shoot the laser since I'm in here is awesome. Thanks for playing. Now let's give it the good old camping test. Can I sit right here and take out this horde of zombies without getting taken out myself? So far, it looks like we're surviving it, except for the zombies that glitched their way up and over me. I don't think I have any complaints about this weapon so far. It seems like the FJX was just like better range and better recoil. And we don't even have to worry about this aftermarket part not letting us add a magazine attachment because it said, you know what? We'll take care of that part for you. Here's a, the largest mag this thing can get. And I appreciate that. I do. Because a lot of those aftermarket parts, it seems like you just throw on the aftermarket part and you can't really have any other attachments besides like an optic or a muzzle. This lets you basically use whatever. And legendary aether tool for my troubles? Nope. Epic. And I know the game was just waiting for me to do a spore contract so it can give me a legendary aether tool. That's why I didn't give it to us on our last contract. Almost. I almost fooled it. I almost fooled myself. I didn't want to give us the legendary aether tool on our last contract so we're getting it right here. It'll work one of these times. It will. Well, it doesn't look like we're getting our tier 3 abomination anytime soon. So, uh, let's go ahead, go to the Dark Aether, and we can fight the HVT Abom there. All right, Dark Aether, you've beaten my ass one too many times. And is that going to change today? Probably not. Are we going to try? You're darn tootin'. Let's get this escort over with. One of these times, I'll beat it without a VR-11. Actually, the FJX could be the weapon to do it. Let's get a move on. And the Mimic's immediately stuck inside of the ACV. Awesome. Love it when that happens. Oh, he found his way out. Let's grab that nuke and keep it moving. I love losing 12% on our ACV within seconds of leaving the, the starting area. It's the best. Oh, no. I don't think our decoys are working. We're already down to 65%. Let's go grab some more. I'm going to throw one now. Go down. Part of the plan. All part of it. We are down to 30%. Uh, maybe I shouldn't waste my breath. Down to 27% after the first stop. It is not looking good for us. So I'm going to save these cashmeres. No sense in wasting them on uh, something that's already going to blow up. This has got to be like the hardest Dark Aether contract out there. It is rough without a VR-11 or a team or a brain. We need a lot of things to get this one done. You know, I'll use one cashmere. We'll have a little faith. Let's get some double points here for when this thing blows up and go down on 1%. Who's going to get the last punch on it? Nobody, if I can do something about it. Nope, Mimic already inside of it. Sweet. Well, that was fun. What the fuck, Mimic? I'm trying to fly here. I don't even like that escort anyways. All I really wanted was to fight the abomination. All right, buddy. You've been a tough guy to find. Now I got you all to myself. I was just doing it against your laser. Immediately broke the face. Perfect. Ooh, we're actually doing some nice damage to him. I just need you to calm the fuck down. Please and thank you. Shoot another laser. Or don't. I don't care. There you go. See? Reverse psychology. Already have him less than half health with only two faces broken. Oh, and he's already dead, basically. Right about here. Night, night. This is where we get our legendary aether tool. Oh! See, I told you it was going to work. You just had to keep saying it. You got to manifest it. Put it on our vision board. All right, last contract. Then we get to show this boss who's boss. I mean, might as well have TJX6 as one of these elites. Never mind. I was going to say they're scamming me and not dropping me any nukes. But the second I start saying something, I really just have to complain. It's like sometimes I say things and the opposite happens. And other times I say things and we get exactly what we're looking for. And since they're they're dropping legendary aether tools, let's get two of them from this reward. I'm, I'm being a bit greedy, but, but we got we to gotta test our powers here. It might be opposite day. There's the contract and here's our legendary aether tools. Nope, deadbolt detonators. Not bad though. I'm actually just going to use those. Just a few more shots. We'll have this bad boy open and we'll see what this can do against the boss. 
I don't have dead wire on this, so we're not going to get that little extra boost. But we'll see what we do here. We broke his posture immediately. And he spawned his guys in. But we did like a quarter damage, a third maybe. And now we need to get the hell out of here. Uh, can I hit an airstrike here? I can. Let's see if that can take some of them out. Lighten the burden on us. Damn, Mimic. Tossing me. Oh, wait. Can we get him? Did we take out all of his goons? We did. A little nuke should stun him a bit. Got him down to half. This guy's actually so squishy. He's already basically dead. That broken posture there just sealed it. Never mind. I had to, I had to say something. Once we get these guys dead, he should be dead as well. It'd be awesome if one of these guys had a nuke in him. I think this guy does. Perfect. Let me in there. Let me get it. They don't want. They don't want to see me winning. There we go. Dead. Is that all of them? It is. No, it's not. There's one more. And he's tanking shots. He's actually body blocking. Please die. Thank you. Now it's your boss's turn. Oh, it actually might be my turn. This is so unfortunate. I'm still going to just stick it. Stop healing. Oh, and he's spawning in more. That was a fumble for sure. This is actually just an awful spot to be fighting him at, but I'm committed. Where are you at? It's time for you to go. No more spawning anybody in. No nothing. Night, night time. You better give me something good for that. Please. Yes, another legendary Aether tool. Let's go. You might not have gotten the three that I, uh, you know, proclaimed, that I predicted. But getting out here with two, not bad. Now let's get out of here before the game decides it wants to crash again and make me lose all this. So is the Jack Simoner worth using on the FJX horse? I think so. I, I really couldn't tell a difference damage-wise between this and the normal FJX, but... The additional ammo capacity you get alone, I think helps it out a lot. And a little added range and recoil stabilization can't hurt either. I'm sure it could be even better if I was using like a stock on my weapon, but I went no stock for the movement speed on it and still felt like I was moving just as fast as I would with the normal FJX. And I feel like it can still compete very well in tier three and above and against basically any boss. So overall, it's a pretty good aftermarket part and I'd recommend using it. But I'm gonna go ahead and get out of here. Thank you guys for watching. I truly appreciate all your love and support and I will see you in the next one. Later.